All right, so a big part of the 200 level series um, computer science courses here at Clark are these things that are called one day programs. And just as the name implies, they're programs that are intended to be done in a single day. In fact, you can usually do these things in a few minutes if you're up to speed on the topic being covered. But if you think you understand the critical concept, but in fact you don't, these one-day programs, or ODPs, can actually be fairly time-consuming. But that's a good thing to know at the point where, where you're trying to learn the concept. You really want to know right then if you're missing some point and spend the time at that point to try to figure out what's going on, as opposed to only realizing it when you get to a long programming assignment, or worse yet, when you get to a midterm or a final exam. So the ODPs will not be every day, but they'll be fairly frequent. And generally, they'll be assigned on a given day, and they'll be due the next day. So you'll have 24 hours to do them. The first ODP is an exception. I'm going to give you two days to do that so that you can try it um, on your own for the first day, and then we can talk about it in class um, before the second day. All right, so um, if you look in Canvas, there's a section for one-day programs, and ODP 401 is the first one-day program. It's due on the 26th, which is Wednesday. Click through that, and you'll see a description of it. ODP 401 is your first one-day program, which you have two days to complete, due 8 a.m. Wednesday morning. You should write a C program, which prints a single line that says, hello world, pay attention to uppercase, lowercase. And then you test your program by using the command assess space, the name of the executable program space, and then the name of the source code program. And your program does not have to be called main. It can be called anything you want, but this is the executable, and this is the source code. So it could be a.out and myprogram.c or whatever. OK, so let me show you how this looks for a test student. So here's a student um, test 2. And I've already written some code. This is called try.c. And this is my program that's going to print out hello world. So I'm going to compile that as usual, gcc-o try try.c. And I didn't declare a return type. That's just a warning. I want to know if this works or not. So I'm going to say what assess the name of the executable, which is try, and then the name of the source code file, try.c. Now, if I don't put in that source code file, if I just put in the executable, it'll tell me you need to specify the source file as the second argument. So I'll assess try try.c. And it tells me that I'm uh, connected to the server. My user ID is test2. That's my login name. Welcome to the automated assessment system. And you have three commands. Submit your code for grading, exit, and get help. And help just gives you this message right here. Um, and you can test your program as many times as you want. But the last time that you test it, that's the grade that will be recorded in Canvas's gradebook. So if you've got 10 out of 10, you're good. If you make some changes and you only get 5 or 7 out of 10, make sure the last time that you submit your code for grading, you get the score that you want. OK, so there's always a reminder here at the bottom which says you are about to assess your code for ODP 401. Write a C program that outputs hello world. If you think you're doing ODP 402 and you see that this says 401, don't continue. OK, exit out of here right now with an X. And it'll tell you you haven't submitted your assignment for grading yet. That's OK. All right, so we are doing ODP 401. So the only command we want to use is the G command. So I type G, and I hit Enter, and it tells me results 0 out of 10. I got 0% on this one-day program. That's not good. OK, so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to run my program by myself, just on the command line. It said, hello world. I'm going to go back and look at the assignment. Write a program which prints a single line that says, hello world. Pay attention to uppercase, lowercase. That's a big H, big W. And I did a big H, but I did a lowercase W. All right, that's why I didn't get 10 out of 10. So I'm going to fix that really quickly. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to change that to a big W. I'm going to recompile. And I'm going to assess try, try.c. I'm going to submit for grading. And hey, results, 10 out of 10, I'm golden. Okay, that 0 out of 10 was recorded in the gradebook. Now a 10 out of 10 is recorded in its place. So I'm happy. I got my 10 out of 10. I'm just going to exit, and I'm done. My ODP is completely finished. And even with a bug in the program, you can see it only took a few minutes to um, compile the code, submit it, fix a small error, recompile, resubmit, 
and get my 10 out of 10. So that's the basic setup for these ODPs. And your first ODP is exactly what we just did. And you can use this code verbatim, right, to, um, to make your own version of your main program for ODP 401. So that's the basic setup. And um, try to do this today, Monday. And we'll talk about it Tuesday. If you're having problems, you'll also be able to do this on Tuesday. The ODP is open until Wednesday morning.